Munich, New York, San Francisco, and Beijing. Around the world in five days. This is the BMW World Flight. In a close cooperation between Lufthansa Cargo and the team from the BMW Group, an unusual idea has become a reality. A vehicle presentation on three continents in a showroom of superlatives. The most efficient cargo aircraft of its class, the twin-jet Boeing 777F. This is how the BMW Group is presenting its new flagship technology, the BMW Vision iNext. Back to the start in Puchheim, near Munich, building a mock-up is underway. Just 14 days until takeoff. Alexander Bulgari, responsible for corporate and product communications, describes the situation on site. Manchmal hat man den Eindruck, das ist hier alles gerade im Vorfeld so ein bisschen wie ein Computerspiel. Man bewegt sich von Level 1, 2, 3 immer weiter und auf einmal sieht man, dass das nicht äh, Skizzenblock und Scribble ist, sondern dass da reale Menschen dahinter stehen. And quite a lot of them, in fact. More than 120 people are working on this project. As the real plane can only be taken out of regular service for a short period of time, the exhibition stand constructors have made a one-to-one -one replica of the plane's fuselage in the Puchheim Hall. Inside, they are constructing as precisely as possible the showroom that is to impress in the real Boeing in just 14 days' time. At the same time, the stage technicians are setting up projection equipment in the mock-up plane. Making a replica of the interior of a Boeing 777F is also a first for construction manager Conrad Fischer. Baulich ist es natürlich sehr anspruchsvoll, da wir hier mit keiner Standardware arbeiten können. Sprich, wir haben hier ganz viele individuell gefertigte Detaillösungen kreieren müssen, da hier nichts gerade ist und alles eigentlich dreidimensional in jede Richtung verzogen ist. Und das ist eigentlich die Challenge, die wir uns gestellt haben. Through this exclusive closed-door concept, guests will get a preview of the pioneering vehicle. But why the association between road vehicle and aircraft? Weil die Menschen ja durchaus immer ein Problem haben, wenn sie denken, dass ein Auto kommt, ihre Kinder abholt und irgendwie eine Maschine einen irgendwo hinbar. Und in dieser Diskussion haben wir gesagt, wieso Menschen erleben autonom sehr häufig, nämlich dann, wenn sie sich in ein Flugzeug setzen. That's because planes fly long distances on autopilot without any human input. Piece by piece, the experts build the presentation area on specially converted cargo pallets. After 42 days of building, the mock-up is finished. Staff from the BMW Group and from Lufthansa Cargo can finally see in the flesh what they've worked so hard towards for the last nine months. Despite the suspense, a sense of excitement spreads around the whole team. Alexander Bilgeri is optimistic. Und jetzt gilt es nur noch die, die Daumen zu drücken, dass alles läuft, dass wir in die Städte reinkommen, dass die Menschen dann reinkommen, dass wir präsentieren können und dass es das gleiche tolle Gefühl auslöst wie hier jetzt so äh, hier in der Halle, dass jetzt schon die Spannung steigt. So am liebsten gehe ich jetzt gleich mal zu den Kollegen und sagen, warum fliegen wir nicht morgen schon los? Just three days to go until takeoff. Having spent weeks of painstaking detailed work constructing the showroom, the exhibition stand constructors now have to dismantle it all again. Each component has a fixed position on a particular pallet. Nothing can slip out of position now. Any damage to individual parts would be fatal. Special trucks transport the cargo pallets from Puchheim to Munich Airport, the first stop on the world flight. The plane is already approaching to land as the last of the pallets arrive at security. There at last, a Boeing 777F lands in Munich for the first time in the history of Lufthansa Cargo, exclusively for the world flight. A moment that BMW and Lufthansa have eagerly awaited for three quarters of a year. Everyone involved is on the edge of their seat. Now it's starting for real. A tug pushes the 197-foot plane, the hollow Germany, back into the hangar. Parking is precisely down to the last inch. The construction crew can only keep to the tight schedule if the plane is parked with perfect precision. 
For Project Manager Ingo Vert, it's a real milestone. Es ist ein unglaubliches Gefühl und wir hatten gestern äh, einen ganz besonderen Moment, als die Maschine gelandet ist ähm, und das große Hangartor hier geöffnet wurde, um die Maschine dann hier auch ähm, äh, rein zu pushen sozusagen. Ähm, es war unglaublich, also das war wirklich so der, jetzt geht's los, ja? jetzt hat man fast ein ganzes Jahr darauf hingearbeitet und wenn man die Maschine dann das erste Mal hier auf dem Vorfeld sieht und weiß, jetzt muss noch der Einbau passieren und dann kann es eigentlich losgehen. Installation is intricate. First, the Lufthansa specialists load the cargo pallets that have just arrived from Puchheim into the fuselage. Correct sequencing is essential. Just like putting together a jigsaw puzzle, precision is required. Everything has to dovetail. Will the showroom fit in the hollow Germany? The stand constructors are nervous until the last second. Because unlike the replica, planes expand due to atmospheric conditions. With a construction as precise as this, even a fraction of an inch counts. Then comes the surprise. The plane really is a couple of inches larger than a few weeks ago. But the crew has everything under control. Light follows. Within 24 hours, the exterior of the plane is given a special design known as the Voronoi pattern. The design runs throughout the vehicle show branding. Meanwhile, they're working at full speed inside the fuselage, just one day until everything begins. The technicians lay approximately 4.7 miles of cabling. They fit 78,000 LEDs in 165 video modules and 10 very bright projectors. Loadmaster Jose Duarte Fuentes is enthusiastic. Von der, der Version der Paletten im Main Deck, das haben wir als Lufthansa Cargo noch nie gemacht. Ja. Das ist eine zwar von Boeing veröffentlichte Version, ich habe aber weltweit noch nie davon gehört, dass das überhaupt schon mal so geflogen wurde, die Konstellation im Main Deck. Ja, es ist immer spannend, also guckt rein, ja, also das ist, äh, wer macht sowas? Well, Lufthansa Cargo and the BMW Group do stuff like this. Because a special vehicle deserves a special presentation. Inside the plane, experts put the BMW Vision iNext in position. A particular highlight is the rotating platform. It's a one of a kind. It's the only one in the world that the technicians can fold up for transportation by air. Project team has looked very carefully into the strict security regulations regarding the plane and airports. Wir sind natürlich an vier internationalen Großflughäfen unterwegs, die alle sehr, sehr strenge Sicherheitsauflagen haben. Denen müssen wir natürlich gerecht werden. Und hier in München war die Besonderheit, dass wir nicht nur 24 Stunden vor Ort sind, sondern auch noch zwei zusätzliche Tage den Flieger hier stehen haben, weil der gesamte Einbau natürlich hier stattfindet. Und das bedeutet, dass hier deutlich mehr Leute aufs Vorfeld bzw. hier in den Hangar müssen. In just two days, the construction crew has transformed the cargo aircraft in the hangar into a showroom. Just five hours until the event. Early in the morning, a tug pulls the Boeing out of the hangar and puts it in a very special parking position, known as the state position, where government planes are usually parked. BMW and Lufthansa gain special permission for the hollow Germany to be parked in this prominent position. The world flight begins in Munich, the home of BMW Group headquarters. As the first journalists arrive in the pre-boarding area and get accredited, the dress rehearsal is still underway on the plane. For security reasons, only groups of 20 journalists or less are allowed out onto the apron. From there, an airport shuttle takes them to the hollow Germany. Klaus Frohlich, board member for development, welcomes the journalists. They're all agog. No one before them has laid eyes on the BMW Vision iNext. Photography is strictly forbidden. They follow the presentation armed with pen and paper. Welcome to the world flight. Five days, four cities, Munich, New York, San Francisco, Beijing. The hub of technology in the interior of the Boeing provides a show that appeals to all the senses. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please sharpen your senses and to enjoy and get ready, our vision of future mobility will start now. Welcome to your favorite space, the BMW Vision iNext.
the journalists now get their first chance to experience the new Vision vehicle. The head of BMW iDesign, Domagoj Dukec, summarizes. It is now interesting to see the car in a very unusual presentation. Halle zu sehen. Ja. Natürlich gibt es manchmal auch Closed Rooms, die sind auch recht eng, aber im Flugzeug haben wir das noch nie gemacht. Ist schon besonders, das Auto ist ja nicht ein kleines Auto. Sowas erlebt man höchstwahrscheinlich nur einmal. Auch äh, werden höchstwahrscheinlich jetzt nicht Leute anfangen zu kopieren. Insofern sind alle Leute, die dabei sind, äh, sehr aufgeregt und äh, froh, sowas erleben zu können. Afterwards, there's time for questions in the BMW iNext Lounge. The presentation in Munich, the first of four stops, was a great success. Everything went smoothly. But there's no time to rest. The stage technicians have exactly four hours to take everything down and get it flight ready. Departure is scheduled for 11 p.m. Night flights are banned in Munich. If the plane doesn't take off by midnight, the entire world flight will be in jeopardy. Finally, they're cleared for takeoff on the north runway, destination JFK, ready for takeoff. New York, rain. After over 4,000 air miles, the Boeing 777F has landed at JFK Airport. Now the construction crew has just eight hours until the first guests arrive. First, the team has to check that everything is as it should be. This was, after all, the airborne showroom's maiden flight. But their precision work has paid off. The precious cargo is intact. The plane is parked at JFK in a former de-icing facility. Just the right choice for today as the tail end of Hurricane Florence rages outside. Despite the weather, the journalists make it to the plane safe and dry. The head of BMW Group Design, Adrian von Hoydonk, presents the BMW Vision iNex to the representatives of leading media. This car um, shows the next step in the design language for BMW i. It is a very clean, bold and sexy shape, very sharp lines. Uh, it looks like it was uh, almost milled out of one block. The BMW Vision iNext symbolically stands for setting off into a new age of sheer driving pleasure. Highly automated, emission-free, and completely connected, it integrates all the BMW Group's strategic innovation fields for the first time in one Vision vehicle. These include autonomous driving, connectivity, electrification, and services, abbreviated to ACES plus design. The interior then uh, is inspired by uh, boutique hotels, so it's not like anything you've seen in car design before, it's more like a living room. Uh, and this is where we want our customers to uh, really enjoy the time that they spent there. My favorite space, a modern furnished room to feel good in on four wheels. The BMW Vision iNext is tailored to meet customers' needs. What's unique is its shy tech technology. This transforms ordinary surfaces into an exceptional touchscreen and imbues the interior with a very special flair. But there's no time for the team to relax. The Boeing is due to take off again just four hours after the last presentation. Next stop, San Francisco. The hollow Germany is towed to an area of SFO airport familiar to cargo aircraft the freight area. As with normal freight service, the plane can park among cargoes of all kinds. Setting up on board the Boeing has now become routine. The golden state of California welcomes the journalists with bright sunshine. San Francisco is the third stop on the world flight. This stop is particularly important for the presentation of the BMW Vision iNext due to its proximity to Silicon Valley, one of the most important IT and high-tech areas in the world. As the tech journalists leave the freight area, the dismantling crew is already back at work. The team is now well rehearsed at meeting the exacting schedule. 
they're all ready for takeoff ahead of time. The route ahead from San Francisco across the Pacific is also new for First Officer Benjamin Ketsiora. Ich freue mich tatsächlich auf die Route von San Francisco nach Peking, wo wir ähm, ja, eine Gegend befliegen, wo ich sonst nicht hinkomme. Wir fliegen natürlich immer mal wieder besondere Güter durch die Gegend, äh, vom, vom Panda, also von Tieren bis hin zu Autos tatsächlich. Aber in der Gesamtheit so ein besonderes Projekt mit einem Messeteam, mit einem großen Kommunikationsteam, mit sogar einem Messestand hinten im Flugzeug, das habe ich in der Form noch nicht gemacht. One last check of the weather report and it's time to embark on the long flight across the international dateline. Destination Beijing. Take off for China. After a 12 and a half hour flight, the 777F lands in Beijing. There they head straight to the largest floating hangar in Asia. The logistics challenge here? Over 100 guests have to enter the security zone of the Chinese capital's airport. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's a, it's a crazy idea, to be honest, yes. <laughs> it took some savvy from the project team to make this crazy idea happen. Once the hangar doors are closed, the plane is deemed to be landside. That is, no longer on the airport premises. Now the journalists can come. China is one of the most important markets for the future BMW iNext. Besides the BMW Group's plants in Germany, China is one of its biggest production locations. The last stopover on the world flight comes to an end. Project manager Benedikt Torka sums up. I'm happy. 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 Klar, gleich steht noch der Rückflug an, die Rücküberführung äh, zurück nach Frankfurt. Dort findet dann der äh, Ausbau vom ganzen Equipment statt. Aber dass wir es wirklich geschafft haben, an allen vier Destinationen jeweils in kompletter Anzahl die Gruppen durchzuschleusen, ähm, das war wirklich, ja, ist ein tolles Gefühl. Und ähm, ja, wir freuen uns einfach, dass das so funktioniert hat und sind sehr dankbar. Back in Frankfurt. After its five-day journey around the world, it's time for the flying showroom to be removed. The Hallo Germany resumes regular cargo service less than 12 hours after landing, still in its special getup. It's not only the Hallo Germany that's traveling onwards, the BMW Vision iNext also has a long journey ahead of it. To the 2018 International Auto Show in Los Angeles. It's heading straight from the airport to the event venue. There, the BMW Vision iNext is unveiled to the world and takes an autonomous drive. On the world flight, the BMW Vision iNext attracted a lot of attention in countless publications. The world flight was a great success, internally too. Board member Klaus Frohlich sums up. In weniger als fünf Tagen einmal um die ganze Welt fliegen und dort immer Ein so innovatives äh, Projekt wie den BMW iNext vorzustellen, ist was ganz Besonderes. Es ist wie eine Druckbetankung, weil die verschiedenen Sichtweisen in diesen Regionen oder Meinungen habe ich aufgenommen und sind mir auch eine wertvolle Hilfe bei der Weiterentwicklung des Produktes. Und für mich noch was Besonderes als Vielflieger, einmal über die Datumsgrenze zu fliegen, war für mich auch etwas nicht Alltägliches. And the show goes on. The BMW Vision iNext moves to the CES in Las Vegas. For the first time, visitors to the Consumer Electronics Show get the chance to take a virtual drive in the Vision vehicle. This mammoth project was a world premiere for both companies. Lufthansa Cargo CEO Peter Gerbach looks back. We have been können wie Transport Next Level stattfinden kann. Ich glaube, was uns da verbindet, ist ganz klar. Erstens das Streben nach Innovation, also Innovation im Sinne auch von Marktführerschaft, hier die Ersten zu sein, jeweils in der Branche. Zweitens die Liebe zur Ingenieurskunst und zum Produkt. Das heißt also, das zu machen, was man machen kann und das möglichst perfekt zu machen. Perfekter, als es jemand anders kann. Ich glaube, das kommt hier zusammen. Und natürlich drittens hat es auch ein bisschen was mit Made in Germany zu tun. Only with the cooperation of both these companies was it possible to realize this unique, large-scale project. 
a vista of the future of mobility by the BMW Group in the largest twin-jet cargo aircraft in the world.